continuing with our game, let's see what we've got so far. I'll press game mode here. We got our character here that I can move with my left and right arrow keys. We've got an enemy, which is my face, circling there. I can hit spacebar to jump. You can do a double jump if you'd like. You can actually do triple jumps. That's something we might want to fix in the future. Anyway, I'm going to jump over here and we have an explosion sound and the character dying if it collides with the enemy. So we're going to hit escape. And uh, today we're going to add an animation for our character. So let's click here. We're going to click player, the player we created. And we're going to add an animation for it. I'm going to choose a file. And I'm going to choose a file that uh, comes with the game editor. So I, you can create your own animation, but I'm just going to go in here to the uh, tutorial files and choose um, a few different options here. I'm going to choose character left BMP. And you can see our character running there. He's going kind of fast. Uh, I'm going to lower that speed down, maybe down to 15. There we go. So that's 15 frames a second. I'll show you what that file looks like in a moment. So I'll say OK to that. I'm going to add another animation here. And I'm going to choose character right. Once again, changing the speed down to 15. Now you notice that it says horizontal frames 1 and vertical frames 2. Uh, and as you'll see when I show you, uh, actually I'll just show you right now, make it easier. Um, let me go to the folder, game editor, tutorials, data and I will open up image left. Here is what that image actually looks like. Well, this is the left one, not the right one, but you can see each frame is going vertically. You can also go horizontally. That's what we're stating here, that it's one frame horizontally, so there's only one going left and right, but seven frames going up and down, and each one of these is the same height and width, and it just knows to go through that cycle. So we chose character right and character left. OK, so we have both those chosen in here. Now I'm going to add another one. I'm going to add character left stop. And that's just a single frame of the character stand there. And I will add another one. And I will choose character right stop. OK, and that's our default one uh, since that's what that's set to. But uh, so if I hit play game now, you can see our character, but he isn't animated yet. It's just going by that single frame there. Uh, so I'm going to hit escape, and I'm going to choose uh, add key down. So we're adding an event. I'm going to hit the right arrow, and we're going to have repeat enabled. And we're going, oh no, actually, yes, I want repeat enabled, I believe. Add action. And what we're going to do is we are going to change animation. So when we click right, instead of stop right, we're going to choose uh, just right, which is the animation. And animation direction is forward. If you want to play backwards, you can go backwards and stop. But uh, so we're going to click add and immediate action. And we can close that. Now if we go into game mode, he's standing there. If I press right arrow, you can see it starts running. If I let go, he keeps running, even though he's staying in place. and. Uh, let me do that again. You'll notice that the animation kind of goes funky. I think that's because I want to say um, key down. I'm going to go and edit what we just created. Uh, change animation. We don't want repeat enabled. Disable that. OK. And I think I have to hit edit and OK immediate for that to take effect. Um, but now we also want to add an event. And we're going to add an event key up. And we're going to click the right arrow. And it says right there that we chose right. Add action. Uh, and we're going to change animation. And we are going to change it to character stop right, which is what it defaulted to right there. Immediate. And we will close this. Now if I go into game mode, he'll run. But when I let go, he stops. We still have to make the animation for when we hit the left arrow. So there he is running, and he slides back. Let's hit escape. And we will add another event for key down. We will choose the left arrow. Just hit the left arrow there. We return repeat off. Disable that. Add action. 
change animation and we are going to say uh, left character left add immediate action close that run game mode now I press right he runs if I press left he runs but he still keeps running left after I let go unless I hit right arrow so I'm gonna hit escape we're gonna add one more event we're gonna add event key up I'm gonna hit the left arrow and it says left right there is the key that's chosen we're going to add an action change animation and we're going to change it to character stop left add that immediate action close game mode now we got our character that runs left and right like so sometimes you get a little bit of a slide in action like that if you press one key before you let go of the other uh, and that's something I'll have to look into more I'm sure it's just the order of how we have things put in but we're looking pretty good so far for just a few minutes of editing uh, no animation for the jump you just kinda jump straight up but that's something that you basically go through the same process you'd have to get the uh, animation shots like they already have for walking here but for jumping um, so that's something you'd have to draw or film yourself um, but same process you would just add key down for spacebar change animation and key up that changes the animation but we got our character running here and he dies when he gets hit okay that's it for today's tutorial I hope you enjoyed this and visit filmsbychris.com for more video tutorials like this on open source software. Have a great day.